All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you, uh, whoa, crazy Kramer hair, woo. All right, um, if you were like I was, you uh, might have gotten tripped up um, for what the problem was asking you for. This problem wants you to A, copy the number line below on paper, including the dots. Keep the dots in the same position and label each dot with one of the fractions from the given list. Label each dot with one of the fractions from the list given below. Oh, okay, it does want you to do that. All right. Wow, I um, started this whole video over because I didn't think they wanted to do that. Um, let's do that after we do part B, C, D, and E. So we will label these. Um, but let's do um, get the numbers that are that are greater than or equal to one and a half, the ones that are close to one, the fractions that are close to half, and um, which ones are close to zero. So let's do that first. Um, let's get a colored pen and go through and let's get the ones that are uh, close to um, greater than or equal to one and a half. So the ones that are that are to this side here. We're looking for these guys here. So the larger ones. Um, nope, that's close to one. That's close to one. That's uh, that's close to uh, one and a half or greater. Uh huh. Because eighteen ninths um, would be. So that guy makes the list. Uh, nope. Nope. Yes, thirty-two sixteenths would be two. So yeah, that's more than. One and a half, that's close, that's close to this over here. Um, two seventeenths, nope, um, that's close to one half. Um, nope, less than one, less than one, less than one. Um, more than one, more than one, but not equal to one and a half. Fifteen fifths um, would be one and a half. Uh, this is two, found that one, boom. And um, this is uh, really close, 22. 22 elevenths would be um, would be two. So here are the four points. Here are the four points that go there. So um, I know that 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 four halves go here, and then let's rearrange the other ones. So let me pause this for a second and get my head straight. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got the three remaining um, fractions here. And I thought about, well, if I have 15 ninths, three more of those ninths would get me to 18 ninths, which would be two. And then I thought, what would I need for the other two remaining fractions um, to get to two holes as well? And the fraction that goes here is the one that I need to add the least. So which of these fractions did I need to add the least? Well, this is three pieces, and they're cut into nine. Our whole is cut into nine. That's one-third. That's the largest one here. Um, so 15 ninths. You actually need to add the most stuff to get to two. Um, adding, adding two sixteenths, a sixteenth is smaller than an eleventh. So that means that 30 sixteenths must be bigger than 20 elevenths. I needed to add less to get me to 2. I'm adding less to get me to 2. From here, I'm adding 2 elevenths, which are bigger than 2 sixteenths. So that's how I did that. So let's do, um, let's focus on the ones that are close to 1. Let's do the ones that are close to 1. I'm going to do those in blue. So the ones that are close to one, this is close to one, um, also close to one, um, close to one, close to half, close to one, close to half, um, close to one. So let's uh, talk about those guys. Any ones that are really close, so I know that 98 hundredths, that's really close. That's only missing two hundredths, and hundredths are... Um, quite smaller pieces than than the rest of these. I'm looking for one that is um, that is just a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger. So this is one. These are all one bigger. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So seven sixth. Um, if I add, um, if I take away, they're all bigger. So if I take away a sixth, I will get to one. 
Um, same thing with 13 twelfths. If I take away one of the twelfths, I'll get to one. And the same thing with um, six fifths. And if I take away one of the fifths, I'll get to one. So these are the ones that are just barely, um, barely bigger. So six fifths, seven sixths, and thirteen twelfths. So which one um, am I taking away the least to get me to one? That's the guy that's right here, the one that I need to subtract the least to get me there. And that is here. 13 twelfths. A twelfth is the smallest unit that we have here. Twelfths are smaller than sixths and are smaller than fifths. So this would be 13 twelfths. And um, then a sixth is smaller than a fifth. So the seven sixths must be here. That means that six fifths is here. Okay, I'm having a little senior moment there. I couldn't figure out where this last dot was. And it's the six sevenths, also close to one, um, but not as close as 98 hundredths. All right, um, which is close to a half. So let's do that in green. So we've got all these two green ones here. Um, this is, if this was 12 out of 25, if this is 12 out of 20, I'm sorry, 12 out of 24, we would have a half, so it's a little bit less than a half. I'm wondering if there's one that's a little bit more. And this one is a little bit more. Um, six things out of 12 would be, would be half. So this is a little bit more, six elevenths. And this is 12... 25ths. This was not an easy one. Holy smokes, this is a long problem. Um, all right, now let's do the last, uh, the last ones which are close to zero. Let's do the last ones which are close to zero. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. All right, let's find the ones that are closest to zero and work our way to the larger ones. All right, um, so we've got one twelfth, we have six hundredths, we have two seventeenths, we have two twentieths. Let's just look at the let's just look at the two seventeenths and the two twentieths. Which one is larger and which one is smaller? Um, two out of seventeen. These are larger pieces than the twentieths. So this actually goes like this. So I've got those in order. Um, oh, let's do it in a different color. Let's do it in, uh, great. Now nah, let's do it in black. You know what? We're doing it in red. All right. Um, so two twentieths and two seventeenths. Um, one twelfth. What about one twelfth? We have one twelfth. Where are we going to put? Where are we going to put 1 12th? Well, let's make it 2 out of something. So let's do this. Let's do 2 halves makes 2 24ths. And 2 out of 24 is less. So 2 out of 24 is less. And let's remember what that was. That was 1 12th is the same thing as 2 24ths. So that is, so that's smaller. So 2 20ths. And two, um, what was that? Two, uh, that was two seventeenths. All right, so we've got two, um, one twelfth. We've got one twelfth placed. We have two twentieths placed, and we've got two seventeenths. And now we just need to figure out where six, um, where does uh, six one hundredths go? And if I can get this down to 2, which I can, I can divide this by 3, 3 thirds, and I get 2, and there are 33 and a third 3's that go into 100, um, and this is 
the smallest pieces and if I only have two of the smallest um, that makes it that makes it the smallest one the closest one to zero so here you go this is 2 and 33 well what am I doing what am I doing freak out it's a long day folks for mr. Marcus and this represents six one hundredths so in order from least to greatest you have six one hundredths here you have one twelfth here you've got two twentieths there and you have two seventeenths here thanks for your patience guys um, come on in at lunch to talk about that more it was a cool problem but man oh man that was a long time and if you were copying this um, diagram on your own I could see how that would give you some trouble so um, thank you guys and have a nice day